Breaking news, guys. International group warned Southeast governors against giving land to Hesmen, says Landmarks is the smallest nationwide. Reminding them that Southeast Landmarks measures 29,525 kilometers, which is less than one or two states' landmarks in the northern Nigeria. The organization advised the governors, particularly Governor Peter Mba of Enugu State, to back off from any form or any move under whatever disguises or camouflage and, and join in rejecting the establishment of header settlements in any part of the region. Hmm. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The National Society for Civil Liberties and the Rule of Law Inter Society has warned the Southeast governors, especially the, the governors of the governors of Enugu, Abia, Anambra, and Imo states that the land in the region was too small to give away to headers in the name of ranching or sentiment or settlement reminding them that southeast land mass measures 29,525 kilometer which is less than one or two states land mass in the northern nigeria the organization advised the governors particularly governor peter mba of enugu state to back off from any form of moves under the whatever disguises or camouflages and join in rejecting the establishment of headers settlement in any uh, part of the region these moves must be done away with in the entire southeast or be lawfully and popularly resisted into society want in a report issued in enugu wednesday Signed by the principal officers, led by Emeka, the group said it had observed that between December 2023 and February 2024, that despite deniers and reasons given by the governors to justify the widely suspected politically motivated moves to establish the so-called non-native trailer parks, or agro-industrial farms, or mechanized farm settlements, or modern cow ranching, among others. Most social clutters have remained saturated with strong suspicions that the governors are being economical with the truth. Why such move has clandestinely being intensified at sub-state government level in Anambra State since 2022 through the Minister of Homeland Security and his commissioner in Enugu and Abia State. They are believed to have railed their ugly health since December 2023 after the electoral appeals court judgment in the 2023 governorship pools in the two states. These moves are made more suspicious going by the fact that these governors and their governments, particularly those of Enugu and Anambra, hardly speak out publicly in strong condemnation of jihadist Fulani Hesmen violence in their respective states, including abductions and killings in captivity, sexual violence, open killings, property uh, robberies, and seizure and wanton destruction of farmland and crops. Inter-society, however, noted that the current food insecurity in Nigeria, including shortages and price hikes, had been traced to what it described as Islamic flanization and terrorism of the country's food baskets of Odo, Ogun, and Oyo in Southwest, Delta and Edo, in South South, Benue, Plateau, Nasarawa, Kogi, and Niger in North Central, the 
the southern Kaduna and the southern Kebi in northwest Taraba, the southern Burunu, and the northern Adamawa in northeast uh, per Boko Haram and Jihadist Fulani Hesmen. If, not, if noted that the moves by the southeast governors and their government are reasons given have also become more suspicious following disclosures by the government of Enugu and Abia state of the involvement of the federal government in the regard. Why the government of Enugu state said it is planning to build a military base in Nimbo in Uzo, Mwane and Isuzo to protect its planned cow ranching and the people of the area. The government of Abia state said it is collaborating with the federal government to build a non-native trailer park at Aro Ngwa. The two explanations are utterly suspicious because going by the provisions of Nigerians existing 1999 constitution, it is outside the legislative mandate of any state to build a military base or get a federal government approval of collaboration before building a trailer park or concurrent legislative uh, least controlled land space located off a, a trunk, a federal road promising to build a military base is also colonization of the so-called modern cow ranching following browsing partnership and deep distrust of the military by many citizens across the country since June 2015. The group said that there are doubts and fears by members of the public, including the cross sections of communal stakeholders following the partisan and segregated ways and manners in which the federal government of Nigeria handled its rural agricultural policies and programs since 2016, during which the then government under General Muhammad Buhari retired, not only promoted primitive Fulani cattle grazing and its network as a national policy, but also have it uh, militarized. So guys, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you.